Well, uh, good morning, anybody who's uh, viewing. Love you all. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, you know, I'm like, God, I got this unlimited uh, data plan. Uh, I should use it more than I do. Um, seems like uh, hardly ever use it to its full potential. And uh, that's what this modern digital age is all about, right? Uh, communicating with each other digitally because uh, we don't have to get together in groups anymore as much. Um, I don't know. I, I certainly wish I could. I, I've been invited to a, a few gatherings lately, and I apologize I couldn't make it. Um, actually, I've just been too busy trying to survive. But... Uh, still enjoying life and the beauty of the world. Look how green the desert is right now. Uh, it's just coming alive with life. Uh, I was out walking around in it the other day and I couldn't believe all the wildflowers and uh, just plants I'd never seen before sprouting up and blooming. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful thing to see with all this rain we've been having. Uh, I'm going to stream at you for a while here, and then uh, I usually lose reception when I get near La Bajada, which you can see is dead ahead. Uh, but I'm going to resume the stream uh, when I get to the top of La Bajada. So uh, if you want to keep viewing and hang in there, uh, go ahead. Uh, we're going to drive all the way up uh, towards El Dorado. Um, so it should be a beautiful drive. It's a beautiful day out. Um, another thing is uh, my camera, If it, it's like a Samsung 7, I think, and if it gets really hot, it will cut the stream. Uh, but then I'll probably just let it cool down and uh, start it streaming again. So if you want to hang out for a while, I do. I'm on my way to go do a job uh, for a friend just uh, been doing some odd jobs just to stay in my apartment lately um, and it looks like I'm gonna make it uh, this month I should be fine and uh, Jason and I are working on some projects together um, and hopefully one of those will bear fruit and uh, that would be a nice thing uh, if you've been following me on uh, my other Facebook page at all um, I've been having some success uh, with my internet marketing stuff and my YouTube stuff. Uh, I did a few videos that like went viral on my YouTube channel. Um, it seems like uh, Google likes my uh, tutorials, uh, which often involve using Google tools or Google products. Uh, in fact, that's one of the things that's been making me some money, uh, is that Google thing. And uh, it's not huge, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I get, um, like, at first there was nothing. I mean, it, it was negligible. I've been doing it for over a year now, and it, now it's like I'm getting a little payments every month from Google uh, that seem to be growing. Uh, so last month, Google paid me $45, and it looks like they might uh, pay me somewhere between $60 and $120 this month. So that's kind of cool. I mean, uh, it's not a lot of money, but it uh, covers my car insurance. I like that. All right, you guys, we're coming up here on La Bajada, so for sure uh, I'm going to lose my stream. But don't worry, I will uh, resume streaming at the top of La Bajada Hill. Uh, I hope you'll hang in there with me. Uh, I got some other things to tell you about that um, are kind of interesting, just information I'd like to share with you. I'm going to keep talking till the stream ends. Um, I'm, I'm really just, you know, it's weird. Like, I know a lot of people are afraid about this robot revolution, but I think it has the potential to really set a lot of us free. And, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that uh, in some places, of course, you know, where the technology will be available. Um, 
can't believe I'm still streaming and I'm almost halfway up Lava Hot already here. Must be a clear day. Uh, anyway, what else was I talking about? Oh, uh, so anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, please go over there. Uh, look me up on YouTube. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, you can find some of my YouTube videos uh, on my Facebook page. And uh, just check out my channel. Please, if you see anything there that's useful to you or interesting, um, please subscribe. I need some subscribers. Uh, Google, uh, YouTube won't pay you until you get like uh, a thousand subscribers or something. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm starting to get close to 200. But, um, I need more, obviously. Uh, so, And I'm not begging. I mean, it's actually, uh, I'm sharing useful information. Um, some of it is uh, just, you know, stuff you probably already know or you might. But um, if you don't know this stuff, you definitely should. You're going to pick up something from my tutorials. Um, you, if, if you're trying to, you know, grow your knowledge of, you know, internet communication, social media and stuff like that, um, you're going to pick up something, whether or not you're trying to make money through it, uh, it doesn't really matter, um, and it's weird, I thought making money, like, on the internet was going to be a lot easier than it was, like, I taught myself some, you know, basic IT skills and how to, you know, uh, some basic HTML coding and things like that, um, and that was all I really needed to get started uh, blogging and building websites. And the um, problem was, uh, okay, so I had these little blogs going and websites and I was doing some writing, uh, but I wasn't getting any traffic to my websites. So uh, that's actually what brought me over to Facebook. I had never... Uh, really, I actually kind of swore I wouldn't, you know, uh, get into social media, but all the articles said if you wanted to drive traffic to your websites that you should do some social media, uh, and then I did like a search of the biggest social media pages, and Facebook was, of course, the biggest, even at that time back in 2009, um, so that is actually why I created a Facebook account, so that I could... Uh, bring people over to my websites and my, uh, you know, just, uh, at that time, wasn't much there, just some of my writing, which is poor, I admit, I'm not the best writer in the world, but, um, hey, we all, we all have to start somewhere, and uh, I figured, well, it's better to have something up there than nothing at all, and, uh, and, you know, you learn through that, and then you can go back later and correct your mistakes, and um, so that's something I value about it, and, uh, but the whole idea really was, you know, I realized a long time ago, I'm never going to get rich trading my hours, I'm just, uh, I don't have enough of an education to command that big of a salary, so no matter, you know, in, you know, what I do in any occupation, I'm just going to be getting by. I'm never going to be getting ahead. I'll never own land. I'll never, I'd be in like pretty hopeless kind of a indentured servitude kind of situation. And I wanted to, uh, like, you know, when we were kids and, you know, the Amway guy was trying to teach us about uh, passive income, right? You do the work once and you get paid forever. Um, that kind of made sense to me, and I could see that there was definitely, you know, some sense in that kind of a thing. So, uh, I, uh, 
I tried Amway, you know, that didn't work. Uh, I wasn't good at it. I didn't have the money to be successful at it because I think you really do. I mean, I don't know. Everybody just scoffed at me. Like, come on, Dave, Amway? For, like, so, uh, anyway, I, uh, I have found that, like, the, the potential of passive income on the internet seemed a lot more realistic to me. And that's what I started working on early on. And I tried a bunch of different things. If you followed any of my blogs uh, early on or, uh, you know, some of my early Facebook posts and stuff like that, then you can see that, like, you'll, you'll, you'll know that I, I was trying different things. Um, like, I tried uh, affiliate marketing because everybody's like, ooh, affiliate marketing, you know, and you see all these ads on people's websites and you assume, well, they must be making money or they wouldn't have, the, the ads wouldn't be up there on the website, right? Uh, but it's not really like that. I mean, they don't make much money and I did make some money. I mean, uh, I was really excited when I got my first check from Google, uh, which was like a hundred bucks. Uh, because Google makes you wait like until you get to a hundred dollars back then You had to wait until you got to hundred dollars before they would send you a payment and uh, So anyway uh, I got this payment from Google after like a couple of years of like hardcore blogging and affiliate marketing and Putting Google ads on like web pages and stuff like that um, But you know, it's like just when I add it up all the time I had into that and and then you have to like go back and monitor those ads and uh, make sure they're still displaying correctly and sometimes the advertisers do these uh, modifications to the contracts or whatever and it just makes it uh, really hard to uh, be successful at it. I mean, I don't know how people do it and I don't, I don't suspect anyone really makes a lot of money through affiliate marketing. So, uh, you know, that leads to other stuff like drop shipping. Uh, I tried that, uh, you know, Cafe Press is one of those websites where you can put your logo, your own logo or your own art on a mug or a plate or a tile or whatever it happens to be. And then, uh, you know, uh, you can put it up on your website without really actually purchasing the item until somebody's ordering it and then uh, once you get the order uh, you, it goes to the drop shipping website and they ship it out to the person and they give you a percentage of the sale well you know nobody it, all that stuff most of it is just um, you know there it's like cheap crap from China you know or whatever and it's not gonna uh, most people don't want it you know they want something it's made in the United States. It hasn't been shipped halfway across the planet. Um, like, why do you need a mug uh, from, you know, uh, China? You know, when you, you, you know, people are looking for local stuff. And I guess there are drop shipping sites nowadays that um, will, you know, that specialize in local made stuff. I haven't tried that. I kind of gave up on drop shipping. Um, what I have been successful with is the e-commerce. Like, as you know, I did that, uh, the, the Chili Brothers website, me and Jason, uh, you know, uh, partnered up on that. And uh, that's been successful, albeit it's not making either of us rich, but I mean, it perpetuates itself. And there is a hope that someday it could, you know, translate into sales if it grew enough. But it hasn't been growing that much over the last couple of years. And I get a feeling that uh, I need, I, there's, I'm probably lacking enough uh, web design skills to be super successful at it. Um, I mean, we're on the front page of Google if you search for Chimayo Chili. Uh, and I'm proud of that accomplishment, but uh, there just aren't that many people out there in the world searching for Chimayo Chili, so we don't make tons and tons of sales, you know, doing it. Uh, but, 
uh, we sell some hatch and you know I mean maybe it could grow uh, we're trying to branch out and start offering uh, different and more products but it's you know it's hard to say how far we can go with that uh, I have hope that we'll that one of those things will pan out Anyway, um, yeah, there's been some success there, and there's, you know, I think if, if I redouble my efforts and, and just keep at it, uh, that it could be a nice sort of a nest egg or a supplement to my retirement, you know, because you all know we can't get along on Social Security if we get any, uh, the way things are looking. So, um, there's gotta be something there. And I think that might be where we're all going, you know, like with this new robot revolution and stuff and all the manual jobs are going to be going away. All the driving jobs are going to go away and, uh, people are going to have to find other things to do. And I have no doubts that there will be some kind of guaranteed universal income, although um, it might take a while to transition to that. And it'll probably, in the beginning, it'll look like uh, increased uh, social programs because uh, to avoid rioting in the streets when people are out of work, you know, they'll have to be uh, provided for somehow. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm probably going to, uh, if I'm still streaming, I'm not even sure if I am, uh, probably going to save this video and uh, publish it on uh, this page and maybe share it to some of my other Facebook pages and some groups on Facebook. Um, I like, um, might be able to share this to like an internet marketing group and uh, host a watch party or something and that might uh, actually improve traffic to my string of blogs, websites, and social media accounts. Uh, and that's the basic object. Um, as if you are paying for unlimited streaming, folks, uh, start using it. Uh, don't just sit around doing nothing with it. You can, uh, unlimited means unlimited, so you can just stream away. And uh, if you have any online businesses or just want to bring attention to your own business, like you're, uh, you know, maybe you're a realtor, I don't know, maybe you're a dentist, uh, you know, let your customers get to know you. And uh, it's kind of proven that it helps. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to sign off here because I'm getting close to the hills and I'm probably going to lose reception here pretty soon. Uh, but uh, if you uh, have been listening and are listening, uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Again, uh, I just have a deep love for the entire human race, all of you. And uh, yes, even some of those people that haven't been very kind to me, I love them too. And uh, I just hope you all have the best of days. And just remember that life is really short. and last so just try to make the best of every minute plan for the worst and hope for the best all right this is david scott signing out ciao